Hey everybody, Dixon back here uh, once again. Been making these video for six years now, and um, here once again to have another intimate conversation with White America. White America, we are, as a people, delusional. We've been taught this great big lie that we've all been fed from birth, and most of us are living out that lie. And it makes you batshit fucking crazy. It makes you delusional. And it makes you a narcissist. That's what racism does. It makes you a living, breathing narcissist racially. And it makes you incredibly delusional. It makes you inhumane and, and immoral as well. And that is what white supremacy is doing. The lies and the myths of white supremacy. That is what it's doing to us as white people. From birth, each white person is taught that we are superior because of our skin color. And that started in Portugal. That we have rights that black and brown people do not get. We are entitled. We are privileged. That all started the Pope in Portugal. That white people are superior and that white people have the right, the right to rape and pillage and plunder and steal and take from black and brown communities. And it was done in the name of white Jesus. And it was done in the name of the lies of white supremacy. Colonialization. Went around from every continent using those white Jesus and white supremacy. Using those two, those two, two and the musket and those three tools to colonize, to steal, to rape, to plunder, genocide, Atlantic slave trade, all that shit that we did. Jim Crow, red landing, lynching, God, Tulsa, so many things that we did that we're doing now. But it's it's that it's it all started with that lie 500 years ago. And now here we are 500 years later and white people are no better. They're still functioning on that lie. We're still psychotic narcissists. White people are indoctrinated to be racial narcissists. We are a group of sick fucking people, white people all around the world. Because white supremacy went all around the world. And it's a big fucking lie. And it's a big psychosis of narcissism. So whether if you realize it or not, consciously or unconsciously, most white people feel superior. And you got to do a lot of work to get that superiority complex out of your head. And it's unconscious, but you're taught it. It's indoctrinated to you. Then the other psychotic shit that we're taught, besides narcissism and entitlement and privilege and all that stupid shit, the other thing we're taught is ignore racism. Not only are we taught to perpetrate racism, we're taught that too. We're taught to be proud racist. You know, support Trump, support racist politicians, support racist lawmakers, and spew racism. The perpetrators. Yes, we're that too. But then we have those people that say, I'm not racist. But those same people who claim they're not racist are busy ignoring racism which only gives their racist friends a pass and only gives our racist culture a pass, which only benefits us white people. So being not racist in a racist society is obviously not enough, especially if it's your people doing it and your people are benefiting from it. You've got to take a stand. It's like you work for a big, a big farm company, right? Let's say a big pharmacist company. And the pharmacist company is making medicine that's hurting and killing people. And you know it. And your friends know it. But you've all been told and taught, sweep it to the carpet, ignore it. You know, because you have a good paying job, you're benefiting, you're making a lot of money. Let's ignore it, folks. That's the culture in that company. Ignore it. We know it's happening. But let's not talk about it because it's making our paycheck. That's why in America, it's immorality. That's exactly what we do to black and brown folks. We know it benefits us, and we know it hurts them, but we don't do a goddamn thing to fucking fix it. That's greed. End of story. It's greed. Most narcissists are greedy, right? So my question again to white America, you want to be a narcissist? You want to be immoral? You want to be inhumane? Or you want to give a fuck? Find some morality and do what's right. Because in the end, 
We're going to pay the price of this. We're already paying the price. We're paying the price emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, morally. We're paying the price. You see Kins and Karens every day on smartphone videos acting out like they're batshit fucking crazy, asking black people for their papers. <laughs> you, you can't walk here. You can't breathe here. You can't live here. You can't sleep here. You can't shop here. You can't drive here. The fuck is wrong with people? This shit started 500 years ago, folks. And that great fucking lie, because of man, white people's greed, is still being perpetuated today. And it's being perpetuated by good, not racist white people who are teaching their kids to ignore racism and who are teaching their kids to deny racism by example. Stop indoctrinating your fucking kids. Grow a pair of fucking balls and be humanitarian and do what the fuck is just fucking decent. Be an anti-racist. Join me. Let's acknowledge the fucking truth. Racial injustice is real. We were taught to deny it. We were taught to ignore it. But it's fucking real. It's a reality. The lies of white supremacy is a system and culture here in America, and it always has been. End of story. Acknowledge it. Take action against it and educate other white people. It's those three things, and it's that fucking simple. That's it.